No way. I am shocked. FBI seizes New York Mayor Eric Adams' phones as part of federal investigation into fundraising. <gasps> I am perplexed. I didn't. I did not see that coming. Before I begin, obviously innocent until proven guilty. So New York Mayor Adams is um Adams is Adams iPad was seized after a search warrant was issued. The seizure is a dramatic escalation of a federal probe into whether foreign money from Turkey was funneled to his campaign. I like how they emphasize a Democrat on here. It's like, yeah, a Democrat. Can y'all believe it? <laughs> Why golly gee? Yes, I can. What's good, YouTube family? This is where we shot the Black and Only Rising Channel. Man. The New York mayor just cannot catch a break. First, he's got all of these illegals just flooding the city and destroying it. His words, not mine. Then, on top of that, he has his chief fundraiser, Brianna Suggs, beautiful black queen, getting raided by the FBI, her home. After the home of his chief fundraiser, Brianna Suggs, was raided by the FBI, the 25-year-old has been leading the charge to raise money for Adams' campaign. Young part, like, she's like 25 or something, pretty young. And so he, he turned back around, he's supposed to go and visit the president to discuss the illegal situation, and then he ran into trouble with the, when that raid happened to his fundraiser, so then he heads back to New York. But then on top of that, now they're coming for his head directly. They're coming to take the head off of the freaking snake, the head off of the freaking spider to go ahead and remove this problem because he dared to stand up to Jim Crow Joe. These folks, the FBI, again, struck directly at Mayor Eric Adams this time, and they approached him literally on the street <laughs> and demanded that he hand over two iPhones and an iPad. Take a look. On Monday, the FBI approached the mayor and asked for his electronic devices. Two sources familiar with the matter say the mayor turned over two cell phones and an iPad and later turned over additional electronic devices. The mayor issued a statement saying he's done nothing wrong. As a former member of law enforcement, I expect all members of my staff to follow the law and fully cooperate with any sort of investigation. And I will continue to do exactly that. I have nothing to hide. The search warrant for the mayor's phones comes after the FBI searched the Crown Heights home of top campaign fundraiser Brianna Suggs. Investigators in part looking into possible campaign donations tied to a construction firm KSK and its ties to Turkey. A source familiar with the matter says late last week it was the mayor and his lawyers who turned over information about additional wrongdoing separate and apart from the campaign finance investigation. One of the mayor's lawyers says it was discovered that an individual had recently acted improperly. In the spirit of transparency and cooperation, this behavior was immediately and proactively reported to investigators. Officials not saying what the additional wrongdoing might be, but they say it is separate from the questions of whether foreign money from Turkey was improperly donated to the mayor's election campaign. Officials familiar with the matter say the FBI was perhaps going to seek the mayor's phone Sunday during his appearance at the marathon, but the search executed on Monday as he was with his security detail near NYU as he was about to enter his SUV. Earlier this week, the mayor was asked about the criminal investigation. I would be shocked if someone states that our campaign coordinated in illegal behavior. No criminal charges have been filed by the feds as this investigation is ongoing. Spokesman for the FBI and Justice Department declined to comment. Now the rest of this is just speculatory, but in my opinion, it seems pretty obvious to me. I mean, there's what they're claiming is has been done here now i don't know if it's true or not right so they're, they're saying that they think basically they got some money from turkey when they weren't supposed to including a construction company that is has had ties or affiliations with turkey and so forth right now here's the thing if you really look deep into it there's a likelihood that you can find lots of different folks who have done something where they slightly took some money that uh, from a place maybe they weren't supposed to. In this case, at first, I was thinking that they probably weren't guilty at all. Um, and I'm still kind of leaning that way. But I really don't know because they could be. Because they could have made one little mistake and thought to themselves, all right, 
your ass is going to jail. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no excuses, okay? Because, unfortunately, he spoke out against Joe Biden with this migrant crisis. He has blamed Joe Biden specifically for the migrant crisis. This is in the lap of the president of the United States. The president of the United States can give us the ability to allow people to work. We expect more from our national leaders to address this issue in a real way. We are not pointing the finger at El Paso. We're not pointing the finger at Houston. We're pointing the finger where it should be pointed, and that's our national government. And he's out of lockstep with the rest of the Democrats. If you've been paying attention to the Democrat Party, especially over the last couple years, there has been no dissent or very little dissent. Everybody is thinking in lockstep in terms of the politicians, I mean, the politicians and the liberal media, uh, pretty much just all in lockstep. Everybody agrees with everything that the, the leaders, the, the people that they feel like are above them or at their same level or whatever are doing. So Eric Adams is like the only person who's really been speaking out a lot about the migrant crisis, uh, including other folks who've dealt with uh, the migrant crisis <clears throat> as well in other places, like in uh, San Francisco and uh, Chicago, places like that. Nobody's really been saying anything negative about the president and that he should do more at the border, whereas New York Mayor Eric Adams has been quite outspoken about this. So my theory, along with many others, is that freaking Joe Biden, he, he's, he's playing down the hammer. He's cracking the whip. He's like, all right, Mayor, you got something to say. Like, okay, boom, uh, go, go deal with this raid to your fundraiser. Right. And who, whoever this person is to you that he's claiming is nobody to him. But we don't really know that for sure. I mean, in my opinion, that is a big thing. You're literally heading to one place and then you turn just all the way around to head back to New York because this raid happens where I can't imagine that you could really do anything. I mean, the raid's already done by the time you get back. So it's, you might as well just stay where he was at. <laughs> but then they took and they took his stuff as well. Now, they were also saying that. He, they were going to be looking at his phone in the iPad. Now, the thing is, that's kind of weird about this, is they could always just subpoena for the records. And as far as I know, those, those are pretty quick. As a matter of fact, I'm sure that they're probably going to do both. They're going to try to search the phone, and they're going to subpoena the records. So anybody who acts like they need his phone in order to do it is just being naive, because you can see like all of people's calls, usually the voicemails too, and text messages, just from going to the, the carrier whatever goes over the line they can see so the main stuff that they're going to be gathering from the phone is stuff that probably is not, has not traveled over the network anything that's not like uploaded to like the cloud and all of this stuff so that's another reason why for anybody who doesn't know you can't really trust stuff like the cloud because if it's put anywhere where anybody where technically you're not in control of it then that means the government can get to it and they could use whatever is there against you so just be aware when you're uploading stuff to the cloud <laughs> Okay, for any of those uh, criminals out there. <laughs> but um, but yeah, like this is a classic situation where I think that because he went out of lockstep, I mean, what other Democrats do you know of who this is happening to? I mean, if you know of other Democrats that this is happening to, other FBI investigations that are occurring directly to prominent Democrat politicians, definitely let me know in the comments or something because I personally haven't seen it. So... I feel as though this is definitely him uh, freaking backhanding him, <laughs> right? He's pretty much telling the, telling this house, he's like, hey, house Negro, you're supposed to either be back in the house or back on the field, like, but you ain't supposed to be out there free speaking whatever you want, especially if you're a black Democrat. Like, he's like, uh-uh, <laughs> don't, don't even, no, 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 like, get back on this chain, Negro. Yeah, yeah, I, I own you over here. Remember, according to Joe Biden, you ain't black if you don't vote Democrat. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. The comment may have been directed just at Charlemagne, but it plays into the false notion that Democrats own the black vote and don't have to earn the black vote. But I think that at the end of the day, that maybe they didn't have enough evidence with Breonna Suggs, because I feel like if they did, something would have happened already. So maybe they started the investigation and then they realized that they couldn't find anything with Brianna. So then they went over to Mayor Eric Adams and tried to like, okay, screw it. We can't find anything with him. 
now we might be embarrassed that we done raided this man's home or raided her home. And now we're going to check Eric Adams just to see if maybe if he has something. Because what I'm trying to figure out is technically they should be able to figure out if this was like illegal activity without going into her home or raiding his phone or anything. They should be able to check with the company that they were that they said that they were working with, right? So they should be able to, there's lots of things that they can check, but I feel like at this point they should have something to either place some fines, make some arrests. Maybe they don't have anything. We know from the previous Durham report that the FBI has confirmation bias, so they're gonna keep looking and looking and looking because they don't want to look stupid. <laughs> the 306 page report from special counsel John Durham was a fairly damning assessment of FBI actions during the course of the 2016 and 2017 investigation. What it primarily found was that the FBI lacked an adequate basis to launch its investigation. And it said that even as the FBI uncovered evidence that undercut its premise of a potential coordination between the Trump campaign and Russia, it either minimized, ignored, or rationalized away that evidence to keep the probe going. Because they play stupid political games. It's just another, essentially another branch of the Democrat Party at this point. Absolutely cannot be trusted under any circumstances. And they're pretty much uh, the either the left or the right hand or the, the, the leg or the foot or whatever of Joe Biden. So they're an extension of him and the Democrat Party. So you can't trust them whatsoever about just as much as you can't trust Joe Biden. So anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think. So if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate y'all watching Black Anomaly Rising. I'm out.